Hey everybody, it's Mo. We're back for another midweek park update. Just can't stay away from Universal Studios too long because if you do, you're gonna miss out. There has been so many updates to this park since the last time I was here and I just had to come back midweek to get caught up on all the changes. Let's check out these ride times. Wow, Despicable Me Minion Mayhem only 20 minutes, ET's 15, We've got Transformers only 10. This is a really slow day, guys. Green Gots is only 25. King's Cross is 25. Really slow day. It's been a while since I've been here in the evening, so I'm kind of glad I got the chance to come out and see what's going on. And the Universal Passholder Lounge is no more. It is now decked out for the new Tribute Store. And this is gonna be the first Tribute Store ever on Hollywood Boulevard. First thing I notice is that we have some signage up for this year's Mardi Gras, and the theme is International Flavors of Carnival. And it looks like we've got Universal Cruise breaking down the stage that was all set up for this past weekend's Rock the Universe events. I did not attend. I don't know anyone who attended. So if any of you guys attended, let me know how it was. But I hear that it was really successful. And just across from Transformers, it looks like we have some Mardi Gras themed scaffolding with uh, the lighting all rigged up to it. I'm pretty sure this is lighting intended for the parade that will be coming through the area. We have some freshly painted graphics on the two food booths located just in front of the Transformers Extended Queue. And just around the corner, we've got a fresh paint job to the other two food booths. Everything is looking really festive too. And just at the entrance of Gramercy Park, it looks like we have some Cajun, New Orleans, Mardi Gras themed props set up. And right on the corner, it looks like we have a food truck here that will be themed for Canada. Let's see if there's any uh, menus or signage. Nothing yet. With the carnival theme this year for Mardi Gras, I am super excited about all the food, but particularly the Caribbean food. If you remember from my last video, I mentioned that, that I hoped that a Caribbean themed uh, food booth would be here. And it looks like we're gonna get just that. So. This red one that we saw last week is definitely gonna be themed for Puerto Rico. Super excited for this one. Here we are in old New York and it looks like down Delancey Street, we are gonna have a Japan themed food area. I've been hearing that there's some sort of specialty ice cream, a bubble ice cream. I'm not sure what that is, but that's supposed to be on the menu this year again. And a lot of people are excited about that. So. I'm looking forward to seeing what that's all about. We have our first dedicated alcoholic beverage booth. This one is called Bloody Mary's. When Universal said they were taking inspiration from carnival celebrations all around the world, they were not playing around. Here we have a food truck dedicated to food from Spain. My guess is there's gonna be something on the menu like a paella. What do you guys think? It looks like Richter's Burger Company is still closed. Okay, my heart is fluttering. Here we have right in front of the Fast and Furious gift shop. Here's a food booth dedicated to India. This is gonna be amazing, guys. And right next to the India booth, we have one dedicated to Indonesia. Now this is something that I don't see too often. We got a lot of people over here ordering jacket potatoes and rightly so because they're delicious well done universal well done here on the bridge just between london and springfield we have a food tent dedicated to belgium and right across the way we have one for germany and located just in front of the old fear factor attraction we have one food tent but clearly two different facades one is marked Denmark the other one is unmarked I think this particular area is going to be pretty busy only because traditionally every Mardi Gras this is probably one of the busiest areas for food and with Belgium Denmark and Germany here I don't think it's going to be any different this year I think some serious refurb is going on at Krusty Land did you notice that the ride vehicle is missing from the sign 
And just outside of Springfield, we have another food truck set up, but no signage. Nothing indicating what type of food or drink will be served here. The last time we were here, this was just a plain, nondescript food tent. Now we have a completely and beautifully painted facade. Another one that I'm looking forward to, this Mardi Gras. I'm not gonna lie, I'm expecting big things from the menu here at the Brazil food tent. So Universal, don't disappoint us, please. And behind these construction walls, we still have the old kid zone sign completely covered in tarp. No sign of any active construction going on. It's pretty quiet back there. So I guess things will resume tomorrow, maybe. We'll see. Now what we can see is some pretty heavy machinery they must be doing some heavy duty demolition back here. We've got some pretty steady traffic going to and from ET right now, but no obvious changes with the construction wall or anything. But that area is pretty tight, but people seem to be navigating it well. Megatron is out terrorizing humans as he usually does. <laughs> Goodbye. And it looks like they're getting things set up for Universal Cinematic Celebration viewing in Central Park and showtime is at 7 p.m. sharp. Let's see what kind of new merch we have in the Universal Studios store. This is definitely new, at least new to me. But cute. This backpack is going for $55. We've got quite a few new items um, themed after Minions. This is a really nice uh, Minions t-shirt and it looks like it has, uh, I don't know if that's Japanese characters, but it's a really cute t-shirt. And how about this? This is a new Minions popcorn bucket here. This one is really unique. I love it. I love this new Universal Studios mug. This mug is going for $13. So before we leave, uh, I wanted to make one more stop in City Walk upstairs to take a look at if there's anything going on at the Red Coconut Club. So let's go upstairs and see. Things are actually pretty quiet up here. It looks like um, not much is going on. I believe it's open. I think it's open. I'm not really sure. Let's get a closer look. Uh, actually, no. Don't think it's open. Yeah, it looks like it's closed, so there's really not much going on here. I'm not sure if there are any plans for a theme change for Mardi Gras, but I figured if they had plans on a Mardi Gras theme, it would have been done by now. But then again, you never know. About that brand new Universal Orlando Resort signage at City Walk. Look familiar? All right, guys, that's going to end the vlog for tonight. I didn't get a chance to go to Islands today because Islands and Universal closed at the same time. So it was one park or the other. Thanks for joining me. Until next video, take care. Bye.